Hi there, hi there! We have a new puzzle event. Well, technically we got it yesterday, but I was a little bit too busy, so we are going to jump in today. So we have this puzzle event for the Fuego Fighter Dragon, which is another dragon as part of the overall Masked Fighters collection, and we have this new puzzle event ongoing. And so with puzzle events, there's no set amount of moves that you're going to get, especially if you end up getting bonus moves from ads or if you get them from the maze event, for example. And plus, every single player is going to be doing these quests at different rates. So first thing that I will mention is that if you want to get your hands on Fuego Fighter, the new mythical dragon, usually it costs roughly, very roughly, around about 800 puzzle moves, but it depends on the player and depends on how efficient they are with clearing their boards. Some people can get it in about 600, other people might be closer to 1k, but it's usually about the 800-ish puzzle moves mark. So because you can see that right now, after collecting, I did spend a couple to do one of the, uh, the past quests, but right now we're at roughly halfway of where we'd need to get to get our hands on Fuego Fighter, so that should give you a rough idea of how many puzzle moves you need overall. But Fuego Fighter is not the only reward to focus on in this event, because of course we've got things like Insignias, we've got Fighter Chess, and the more important thing to some players might be the Maze Coins from the top row. And in order to get the top row items, you need to get the specific items for the top row, which in this case right now is Pineapples. For the bottom row, it's Bananas and Tomatoes mainly. And so focusing on those specific items first is a good idea, but there will be many times when you're playing the puzzle event where you can't focus on a specific item, and that's fine. In that case, you know, you just make whatever pairings you can. Any times fours, any times fives, of course, that you can make as well, that would ideally what you'd be going for. And in terms of the actual event itself, it is basically just Candy Crush, uh, but you are trying to get as many items cleared on the board for as few moves as possible and so you want to be making the rainbow stars wherever you can which is what you get for getting five items there's also like these that clear out a line there's this one where the banana is that clears out a square of items so you want to be getting at least four plus generally when you are trying to put items together but of course that is not always possible and sometimes if you put a three together that can give you a setup for a five to go together or even more you can create a whole combo so if you're good at these sort of things you can you know work out a few moves in advance and then base what you're doing on that so just keep all of that in mind if you're just mindlessly like oh bananas i'm just going to randomly throw this one here that's probably not going to be the most optimal thing for you to do for instance so you know, just get good at Candy Crush is basically the, uh, <laughs> the best thing to do, and then you'll get good at this in this game as well. But the quests themselves, you know, we just finished off this quest here to hatch a dragon with C and Primal, and that means that we are currently up to these breeding quests, which are breed an egg that has dark and ice, and hatch dragons with C and light, which that'll take a bit more time. But breeding an egg that has dark and ice, you'll see that I actually did this in advance, uh, because... By putting these two in, in advance, I knew this because we checked the Ditlet website for what quest would be coming up after we finish hatching water and primal dragons. So by having Ditlet open or any other website that has, you know, these guides for what's coming up next in the breeding quest, it just helps you to pre-breed and that way you're being as efficient as you possibly can during this event of course if you've got time skips you're going to be ahead of anyone else if you don't have time skips well you're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way maybe you're gonna have to use your good old friend brood bee if you've got him and your good old friend demona for the breeding section but those two towers can be quite useful at least once during this event anyway but that is the general advice, and if you do end up wanting to gem this event, because you know, like, one of the most annoying quests is going to be, like, win league battles. The reason I say that is because winning league battles is super easy. The problem is, if you don't have a lot of quests open at the time, because, you know, you don't have the dragons available, well, you're going to be waiting another 6 hours and 34 minutes before you can do this one. And so for the times one quest, normally I just wait to do these. However, if you do get to a point where you want to gem and you want to know what's the best quest to gem to be most efficient, usually it's better to skip these quest battles 
or you can skip the league battles if you can't do say the arena bit but you've got more leagues but usually it's the quest ones later on so you skip them and then once you skip i'll just do it this once as an example you skip this mission and then you get the really easy quest of collecting gold which you know that's it you just click a couple of your habitats collect and then we get feed dragons which is another really easy one usually you try and spend the least amount of food possible but I don't really care. I'm just going to feed one up and we claim and then you'll come back to the winning quest battle section again. And so then you'd have to wait another six hours. But again, you go ahead, you skip and then you have to collect gold again. So this is a really, really easy way to get more puzzle moves. But of course, you are jamming when you're doing that. So please bear that in mind that uh, you are still spending gems to be able to do it more efficiently. So you don't want to have to do that. And it's mainly useful once we get beyond the zero out of one quest, because now you'll see that we're at zero out of two. So we'd have to do two quests to be able to finish this quest off. So when it, get, when it gets to the higher numbers is usually the better time to do it. And usually the zero out of ones, I'd just do all of those the normal way. But now we'd have to do two of them, which is even more annoying than having to get times one. And this is how puzzle events work. The further into these you go, the harder the quests actually become to finish because you just have to do more of them, basically. Win League Battles is an annoying one based on how many League Battles you've actually gotten to and mainly like your level rank because I'm at 262 out of 400, which means that to refill my League Energy it actually costs me 10 gems per refill. The lower you are on the League's scale, the less it costs. The higher you are, the more expensive it is. And so you can imagine that once you get to this point where it starts costing 10 gems per refill, or some people it's 20 plus, it doesn't really become very good in terms of your gem investment to do this. The only exception to this is right now we do currently have an alliance chest on for League Battles, which, you know, people have been focusing on their puzzle event more at the moment, but we can, we can skyrocket this this pointing very soon but we do have win league battles there but just as an example of what's going to happen you know you win league battles you're at two out of three and then once you finish the league battle section then you're going to be asked to do arena battles and so the reason why i'm not going to gem the league battles right now mainly on top of it just you know being expensive is the fact that we've already done our arena battles for now so gemming the league section isn't really going to get as much value because immediately afterwards we'd have to do arenas anyway and i have no energy so it's best to only gem the leagues bit for example when you have arena energy as well and you can always triple check what's coming up again by using the ditlet website because it's generally win league battles win arena battles then collect food so if you don't have all three of those things ready to go don't gem any of them to continue on because otherwise it will just be a waste of gems so there are little tips like that that i will give for this puzzle event that will definitely help you to not waste gems and also to help with your overall efficiency of the puzzle event now, one other thing that I did want to mention about actually, you know, uh, spending your moves and things like that in general is that when you do get a, a five, you know, the rainbow star that comes onto the board, usually it is better for you in those cases to never, ever put two stars together. Generally, that is the general advice. There are very specific scenarios where it might be worth it, but there are very few cases where that will be the case so you'd be better off always combining a rainbow style with just a random fruit item one that has like lots of fruits on the board for instance one of those or one that doesn't have too many but you can set up a combo for other stuff those are the sorts of things that you're looking for to use your rainbow stars on if you put two rainbow stars together it will clear the whole board but you can generally get more value from that just by, you know, removing a single item from the board so then you can set up more combos, for instance. So um, I just wanted to drop that in there as well for anyone that is not familiar with that, but that is the case for this. But, you know, I can't really think, think about my moves too much while I'm talking, so, you know, I'm just mostly just throwing any old crap out, but... Again, it is really important to pre-plan your moves with this. And again, if you can get lots of fives or lots of fours set up for this, then you'll be in a much better position 
than someone that you know doesn't think about what they're doing while they're going through the puzzle event so yes i highly suggest thinking when you're doing this which i know is difficult i know there's a lot to ask in a game like this using your brain i know it's hard some people really struggle but i just implore you if you want to get the best value but even if you don't you can definitely still get your hands on the 2000 maze coins and you can get the eternal chest i'm actually a little bit miffed that they've removed the mythical egg chest because they've just replaced it with two insignias which is not not even comparable to you know the value that i would suggest for a mythical but we do still have the celebration chest as well where you can get some you know some heroics some titans some random dragons as well out of that so i usually like to go for the celebration chest and the maze coins and usually the mythical egg chest but this time that would be insignia so mainly celebration chest and maze coins for me and of course mr fuego because if we get mr fuego then we can you know get this collection done so the other thing that I did want to mention that's not puzzle related is actually Razor Slash because like I already own Razor Slash but I still have to get this dragon again and one thing that I didn't mention before that I was going to follow up on was the maze event and people were saying what the heck why don't I have Razor Slash in my maze event it's because they've done player groups A and B again so like I've got Razor Slash on the websites they seem to have Razor Slash as well but some people are in player group B and they do not have this dragon right now. Uh, do I think that it is ridiculous that they've brought out a collection that includes Razor Slash and not given them any way to actually get this dragon? Yes, it's very ridiculous. It is like the stupidest thing ever. But some people are opting to get Razor Slash from Rescue. I haven't seen it 100% confirmed as of this very second, but from the Rescues, you can in fact get your hands on Razor Slash. Like if we search for him. Oh god, I think I've misspelled that, but it takes forever on... PC for it to come up there we go you can get your hands on razor slash through this method um again i haven't seen it 100 confirmed that this definitely will count towards the event panel section but it should in theory but that's what some people are doing right now and plus if you could get razor slash from doing dragon rescue and then you know maybe you summon him hatch him maybe it count then uh but uh I don't know. I don't know for sure. It's just very, very stupid that they are expecting players to, you know, get this dragon when there is no way to do it via the events. You know, if you can rescue this dragon and it doesn't, and it does count towards the event stuff, then it would cost you the 60 gems total and you'd have to finish the legendary rescue. But that would mean that you would be spending less keys on the actual maze event itself. Not keys, currency on the maze event. So it is very tempting. Uh, the other thing about the maze event, which actually is related to puzzle, is that you will see that to get some of my puzzle moves, I did in fact finish off the gigantic path. Reason being that one, I didn't have the gigantic dragon, his path is pretty cheap, and you can get a decent amount of puzzle moves for it. So yeah, his path has been cleared, we finished off his, and uh, I'll probably end up prioritizing the keys path next, but we shall see. We shall see. We've also got the runner event path, but... For the puzzle event path, if you want to do as well as you possibly can, and you don't want to spend too many gems, you can indeed go down Gigantic's path and even unlock him if you want, because he's not too much further than, you know, getting all the puzzle moves anyway. So, yeah, he will be, uh, well, actually, he's already hatched somewhere. I don't know where I put him. Oh, there he is. There he is the, the little monkey. There we go. We work fast. We work fast around here. So there he is. He's already hatched. Uh, but uh, there is most of the stuff that i wanted to talk about for now the other thing to keep in mind is that we do have the new dragon tv collection and in this you can get your hands on some decent dragons like corrupted flame getting him for free would be nice my feral is not a bad drop either there are some vampires of course uh, but no karmas this time which is a little bit of a shame because you know we always like getting the chance to have a random karma although they rarely drop of course but you know while the chance is there it is nice and we've had some more of this special event island breeding, but you can't really take advantage of this during puzzle event anyway. So again, I suggest ignoring that part. But I believe that that is mostly everything that I wanted to go through for now. Again, puzzle is just a lot of quest grinding and making sure that you're using your brain somewhat when you're going through this. For instance, if there is an item that is currently not going to give you any progress towards your items, 
don't prioritize that on the board it's so simple but i think sometimes players just don't really think about it and they're just like oh look puzzle puzzle event oh oh i'm gonna boop 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 and they're just randomly throwing their their cursor around at things and not really think about what they're doing and then suddenly their efficiency is really really low which even if your efficiency is low sometimes it cannot be helped just because of you know you might get screwed over for a long time but if you really focus on what you're doing you can get a good efficiency and not have to spend an extra 200 moves for the same dragon so anyway for now good luck and uh, i hope you get everything that you want from this new event